Hello students, welcome to Tobin Shiran team. In today's video, we will be providing you audio notes regarding Middle English period. Okay. Middle English period spans from 1066 AD to 1485 AD. After the Norman conquest of England and it is marked by significant linguistic changes and the emergence of some of the greatest works in English literature. So in this lesson we will explore the linguistic and literary features of the Middle English period, the historical and cultural context, the significant literary works that emerged during this time. Now. Uh, let's look at the linguistic features of the period. The Middle English period saw the emergence of the English language we know today, which was a fusion of Old English and Norman French. Some of the significant linguistic features of the period include First is the emergence of the Middle English dialects, including the London dialect, which became the standard dialect of English. Then the simplification of Old English grammar such as the loss of inflectional endings and the simplification of the noun system. Then the adoption of a more flexible word order which allowed for more creative expression. Then the influence of French on English and vocab English vocabulary which led to the introduction of many French loan words. That's all about the linguistic features of the period. Now let's look at the literary features. Now let's look at the literary features of the period. The Middle English period was a time of great literary achievement and it saw the emergence of many significant works such as the Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer which is considered one of the greatest works of English literature. The work is a collection of stories told by a diverse group of pilgrims traveling to Canterbury. Then, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, a medieval romance that tells the story of Sir Gawain's quest to defeat the Green Knight. Then, Pierce Plowman, a long allegorical poem that critiques the corruption of the church and society. Then, the works of William Langland, who wrote a series of poems called The Vision of Pierce Plowman, which critique the social and economic conditions of medieval England. That's all about the literary features of the period. Now, let's look at the historical and cultural context. Okay. So, the Middle English period was marked by significant historical and cultural changes including first is the Norman conquest of England in 1066 which brought about significant changes in social and political structures of England. Then the rise of middle class which led to an increased interest in education and literature. Next is the Black Death which had a significant impact on English society and culture leading to changes in the economy, politics and religion. Okay. Now, uh, let's see some additional points regarding Middle English period. If we look at the religious and philosophical beliefs of the period. During the Middle English period, the Catholic Church was a significant cultural and religious influence. Many literary works of the time reflect religious and philosophical beliefs, such as the belief in the afterlife and the importance of morality. This can be seen in the works like the Canterbury Tales which explores various moral and religious themes through its diverse cast of characters. Another important uh, feature of the period is courtly love. Another important cultural influence during the Middle English period was the concept of courtly love. This idea was originated in the French aristocracy focused on the idealization of a woman and the pursuit of a chivalric romance. This can be seen in the wor works like Sir Gawain and the Green Knight which explores the themes of chivalry and courtly love. Another important point of the period that to be noted is the emergence of drama. While much of the literature of the Middle English period was written in verse, the period also saw the emergence of drama as a popular form of entertainment. 
This can be seen in mystery plays which were performed by girls and depicted biblical scenes and stories. Next point is Chaucer's influence. Geoffrey Chaucer, who is considered one of the greatest English writers of all time, was a significant figure of the Middle English period. His works, particularly the Canterbury Tales, had a significant influence on English literature and language. Chaucer's use of the vernacular language, his realistic portrayal of characters and his satirical tone were all groundbreaking for their time and helped to establish English as a literary language. Next point is legacy of the Middle English period. The Middle English period had a significant impact on the development of English language and literature. Uh, the period saw the emergence of a standardized dialect of English which paved the way for the development of modern English. It also saw the establishment of many literary genres and themes that continue to be explored in contemporary literature. Finally, the Middle English period played an important role in the formation of English national identity and culture. That's all about the uh, legacy of Middle English period. Now let's have a look at the education and literacy of the Middle English period. During the Middle English period, literacy and education were primarily limited to the clergy and the nobility. However, the rise of the middle class and the emergence of vernacular literature led to an increased interest in education and literacy among the general population. This paved the way for the development of the printing press in the 15th century, which made books more widely available and accessible. That's all about the education and literacy of the period. Now let's have a look at the influence of classics. The Middle English period saw a renewed interest in the classics, particularly in the works of Greek and Roman authors. This led to the translation and adaptation of many classical works into English, which, shaped it, which helped to shape the literary and cultural landscape of England. Next point is the Wars of the Roses. The Wars of the Roses, a series of dynamic dynastic wars between House of Lancaster and the House of York, had a significant impact on the political and social landscape of England during the late Middle English period. The conflict led to the eventual rise of the Tudor dynasty and the beginning of the early modern period. That's all about the Wars of the Roses. Now let's have a look at the language and identity. The emergence of Middle English as a distinct language helped to solidify English national identity and culture during the Middle English period. This can be seen in the works like the Canterbury Tales which celebrate the diversity of English society while also emphasizing a shared national identity. Then next point is the literary forms. The Middle English period saw the emergence of many literary forms including the romance, fabliu and the allegory. These new forms allowed for more creative expression and experimentation in literature. Next point is religious re regional differences. While the London dialect of Middle English eventually became the standard dialect of English, there were many regional differences in language and culture during the Middle English period. This can be seen in the works of writers like William Langland, who wrote in the West Midlands dialect that differed from the London dialect. Next point is the influence of French. During the Middle English period, French was still widely spoken by the nobility and in the courts of England. So as a result, French had a significant influence on the English language, particularly in terms of vocabulary. Many words and phrases of French origin entered the English language during this time and this influence can be seen in the works like Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. Next point is Gender Roles the Middle English period was a time of strict gender roles with men and women occupying very different social positions. This can be seen in literature of the time which often depicted women as subservient and inferior to men. However, there were also examples of the strong female characters who challenged traditional gender roles such as the wife of Bath in the Canterbury Tales. Next point is Science and Medicine. During the Middle English period, there were significant advancements in science and medicine. 
Medical texts from the period describe various treatments and curses for illness, while works like Chaucer's treatise on the astro labor demonstrate a growing interest in astronomy and sciences. Next point is the Black Death, which we already discussed earlier. So let's skip to the next point that is art and literature. The Middle English period saw the emergence of Gothic architecture with its intricate ornamentation and pointed arches. This style of architecture was used in the construction of many churches and cathedrals throughout England including Westminster Abbey and the Salisbury Cathedral. The period also saw the emergence of illuminated manuscripts with their elaborate and colorful illustrations. Next point is music. Music was an important part of life during Middle English period with both religious and secular music being popular. The period saw the development of musical notation which allowed for more complex musical compositions. Examples of medieval music can be found in the works like Carmina, Burana, manuscript which contains a collection of secular songs and poems. So that is all about the notes regarding Middle English period. You can listen to this video and write down notes in your notebook or rough book. See the reason why I provide you notes in this video is that you listen and you copy down in your book and this will help you to study. So let's summarize today's class. Let's uh, revise the points that we learned today. We learned about the linguistic features of the Middle English period, then the literary features of the Middle English period, then the historical and cultural context of the Middle English period, then religious and philosophical beliefs of the Middle English period, then courtly love is another point, then uh, it was during Middle English period that the emergence of drama happened, then Chaucer's influence, then what we uh, discussed was the legacy of Middle English period. Another point is education and literacy, then the influence of the classics, then the wars of the roses, then language and identity, then literary forms, then regional differences, then influence of French, then gender roles, then science and medicine, then the black death, then art and, art and architecture, then music. So uh, we have provided you notes in all these points. So to conclude today's video, we can say that the Middle English period was a time of significant change and achievement in English language and literature. It saw the emergence of the English language we know today and the development of some of the greatest works in English literature. Understanding the historical and cultural context of the period is crucial to fully appreciating the literary and linguistic achievements of the time. Okay, and studying or learning about Middle English period can help us better understand the roots of our modern society. So that's all about today's audio notes class. So if you find today's video on Middle Age useful, please subscribe to Tobin Shadan team. So thank you for listening to today's audio notes class. Bye-bye.